Hey guys, so today we are doing this makeup look. It is all drugstore products. A lot of them are new to me and some of them are new to the drugstore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Gina. Welcome to Gina's Beauty Room. We're going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup together. We're going to be chit chatting about these makeup products as I go. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my final opinions about it, you know? Uh, so yeah, so this is how it came out. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press the like button if you like this video or you enjoyed my company and let's go ahead and get started. Let me just kind of show you what I bought. The first thing I got is this applicator from Kiss. I don't even have one like this, so I bought it. I don't really use false lashes. I just saw these, okay? It really interested me because it, there's no glue needed. They're little clusters of lashes, which intrigued me because I, I just wanted like on the outer side just for like a little lift. You know what I mean? I don't know. We're going to try it out. Hopefully it works out. Okay, I moved the camera just a little bit. Let me get a drink of my coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna include all the prices like up here or down here of each item. So yeah, I was excited to get that. For the foundations, I, I didn't get a new primer. No, I didn't. Um, But I got this lip scrub from Beauty Creations. Look how cute. It's with vitamin E and shea butter. How adorable is that, right? And they have like four other flavors. This one's cherry. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, it's a lip scrub. I don't see that there's gonna be a lot of granules in it. Okay, there's not a lot of granules, so it's gonna be more of a gentle exfoliant for the lips. The one that I like is the e.l.f. one. That one is like my all-time favorite from the drugstore. Like this you would use like on an everyday basis. There you go. It's less granule-y, so you can use this like every morning versus if you really need a really deep scrub for your lips, once or twice a week, I would use the e.l.f. one because it's really granular, you know. So this would definitely come in handy for every morning, I think. So maybe it's meant for that. I don't know. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to start with this e.l.f. liquid uh, poreless putty primer. So they have it, of course, in the pot form. Yeah, when I saw it in this squeezy pump form, I'm like, oh, I got to get it. It's a little runny, but not too runny. Under eyes, I like to tap it, even on my lids, too. It feels really like nice and milky on the face. I like the consistency a lot. I do have two purchases for foundation. I haven't gotten a new one of the Maybelline Fit Me. So this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. They do have oil control one too, but, uh, and I can use both of them actually, cause I have like combination skin, you know, but I wanted to get the Matte and Poreless, but we're not gonna use this one today. I wanted to try this one. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. And it has hyaluronic acid, supposed to moisturize and plump. So I got mine in the shade Natural Beige 60. Um, so I'm excited. And I thought it was going to be, like, I was trying to take off the lid, right? I thought it was going to be a pump form, but no, it's the Doe Foot Applicator. It reminds me of the Revolution one. And I swatched this on the back of my hand when I got home. And it's really, really nice. Okay, so that's the first layer. I'm going to do two layers. You guys, it is so weightless. I really like how the first layer went on. Um, I'm assuming if I add another layer, it's going to feel the same, just weightless. It's kind of like thick, right? But it's almost like a moussey consistency. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't have any, any foundation on. Let's go ahead and go in with the second uh, layer.
Okay, so this is the second coat. You can see that kind of like, a, it's a natural finish. You can see that like it's a little sheer. It's not full coverage. It doesn't claim to be full coverage. It's like a medium buildable to a solid medium. So it's not going to give you that full coverage if that's what you're looking for. But very natural and weightless. I love the consistency of it. So far, so good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I didn't get a new concealer. So I'm going to use... Um, my physician's formula which is pretty new to me anyway but I did pick this up so this I'm going to use as a under eye color corrector this is the elf camo color corrector claims to be full coverage satin finish I usually like to put some right here because I have this like freckle right on my eyelid and for this part I'm just going to use my finger melt it in Wow, this is really nice. I like it. You can definitely see the um, orangey kind of salmon color pop through. They do have a deeper shade. This one is in the shade peach. Like it's definitely not heavy. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in with the concealer, which is this Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Glow Concealer. Really nice for mature skin. It does have a hydration aspect to it. Same kind of doe foot applicator as the e.l.f. color corrector one. You know, the formula glides on just so nice. It's cooling under the eyes. Of course, they have different shade ranges. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little sponge. I didn't wet it or nothing. It's just, just to help it blend a little bit more. More seamless, more airbrushed. Okay, so far so good. It's gonna be like a medium coverage. With that being said, you guys, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. camo concealer that this one's the matte 16 hour wear in the shade light beige and i'm just gonna add some because i do want a little bit more coverage today anyway just on the outer side and then that little freckle still not covered up so i will just add some of this i think that'll make me happy <laughs> Yeah, see how it gave like extra coverage? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl Clean Loose Setting Powder. I think it's in the shade Translucent, but it has like a little tint to it. I love this for mature skin. Yeah, this one's the one with the brown cap. I love this one equally like the Cody Airspun. The Cody Airspun is gonna give you more of a thicker, airbrush looking finish while this one's it's more translucent it's not that full coverage so your skin's going to be more covered with the Cody Airspun versus this one but I love the natural aspect of this powder especially for under the eyes so I normally like to go in with like a brush like this kind of like tapered and just dust it over everything. And you know, it doesn't mattify the skin. It just goes over like a natural finish. I mean, I don't I don't know how else to explain it. It doesn't alter anything. It just makes your skin look very natural. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I get really happy when I use that powder. <laughs> now we're gonna go into the face products. Oh, I forgot I bought this. Ah, you know, we're still gonna try it anyway. 
let's see how it looks over translucent powder, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't lift the powder up, like the foundation. So this one is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Filler Cheek and Lip Color. I love how it looks. It's like a little jewel, you know, like a diamond. Yeah, you just twist it. And I think it's, oh, okay, it's a doe foot. I thought it was gonna be like a squeezy tube for some reason. They had three shades. This one was the medium shade. I don't know how I'm gonna use this. I'm not really good with cream products. Look how pretty the color is. Look, isn't that beautiful? I'm just going with my finger. That is pretty so far. Let's see. Add a little more. That's really pretty. This is real nice. I like the way it goes on. I love the color. Yeah, that's beautiful. I really like that. You know, they also had a BB cream, like in this kind of packaging that was new. I haven't seen that before. So I was like debating, should I get that one or this one? But I, I just like the claims of this one a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to contour. So that one, I'm just going to use this CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Powder. This is an actual foundation powder in the shade Buff Beige 725. I like to do that a lot um, because to me, it's like more cooler toned because a lot of the bronzers in makeup brands, it's like real orangey and real like warm based, you know? So anyways, I, I like to do that with the, uh, just get like two shades deeper then your skin tone and just bronze the face. Yeah, see? Okay, and a lot of times to you guys, I, I just use the same powder and I go in with a more denser brush. So like we'll use this one and I'll just use it to contour, you know? It's kind of like a cheat step. So you see how it added a little bit more dimension? So it kind of almost looks like you're using a darker shade, you know, but you're really not. So that that's like a little hack. If you're on a time crunch or if you don't want to, you know, get two separate shades or whatever, you know? Just don't be too heavy handed because then it could look muddy. There you go. See how pretty it looks. It's real natural. Okay. I still want to top the blush off with another blush. This is the Essence one. This is in the shade Befitting number 10. There we go. Yeah, I love that. This is really pretty, you guys. And it really went on well over the translucent powder after, you know, when I set my face. Okay, that's really pretty too, this one. Okay, now we're gonna go on to brows. Maybe we should use the e.l.f. one, the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Since we're still with Elf, I'm gonna use this brow gel. This is in the shade Light. This one, I need to get a new one. Um, I love the little tiny spoolie. I like to go in the opposite direction. Yeah, this one's drying out. I definitely need a new one. For highlight, I picked up this Revolution Reloaded Dare to Divulge. I've never tried this. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. We're going to use this light layer highlighter brush from Real Techniques 431. I think this came in a duo set. You guys, I still love a good highlight. I'll diffuse it a little bit with an all over face powder brush, like a large brush in a second. It's so beautiful. You know what? We're going to put some right now in the inner corner, even at the end. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that. Let's go ahead and go in with an all over face powder brush, blend everything together. There we go. So, so far the face is done. Now we're moving on to the eyes. Okay, I am hoping that they still sell these and I think that they do, um, but I'm gonna use this quad from Maybelline. This is the Eye Studio in the shade 05 Give Me Gold. These are beautiful, you guys. Every one that I've bought, it's just a beautiful formula. So for shadow primer, I picked up this Beauty Creations. They have a lot of shades to this, which is pretty cool if I give that option. A lot of times, I'm not going to lie, I don't use a eyeshadow primer. I used to always use a shadow primer, but lately, in the past like maybe like six months, I have not really messed with shadow primers until I saw this. I love the packaging, by the way. Kind of like drew me in to purchase a new one. Look how pretty. This one's in the shade Plastic Vanilla. There it is. It definitely has some coverage. It has like a tackiness to it. But I don't like to go over top of that with the colors because it could look a little smudgy. So I'm going to set that actually. I'm just going to set it with this Dollar Tree little translucent setting powder, I guess. Okay, now we'll go in with the shadows. You know what? No, I need to get a um, transition shade. Yeah, that one lacks just one more shade. Yeah, you can use any transition shade you want. I'm going to just take this out. It was right in front of me. This is the ColourPop right here. These two will mix together. They're just like a matte one because all these are shimmers, you know. The same brush, I'm gonna use this one right there. Oh, that's beautiful. I forget how beautiful these like simple quads from the drugstore eyeshadows are. Wow, very easy to put on. Let's go in with a smaller brush. So something like that. And go in with a deeper shade now. Just with my finger, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And just keep it like in the inner third maybe of the lid. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush, merge it together. Okay, I'm gonna go in with an even like smaller brush Go back in with this and keep it just along the lash line and the outer edge, just for extra dimension. And then we'll bring some at the bottom lash line too, so. Walk in 
Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the translucent powder. For eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors eyeliner pencil. This is in the shade black, I think. Let me see. Well, black brown. It's just a regular sharpenable one. I've had this already in my stash. I'm gonna use this for the inner waterline top and bottom. So yeah, the shade black brown, it just provides like a more natural finish. I normally go with the black, so I'm surprised I had this in my stash, the black brown one. It's still pretty nonetheless. So yeah, let's go ahead and go in with uh, mascara now. I picked up this Maybelline New York Falsies or The Falsies Surreal Extension Mascara. This is in the shade Black is Black 170 and the claims are it uh, adds 36% length Surreal Impact. It's a hybrid fiber technology infused in this and has different fiber sizes up to three millimeters. Huh. It's an extended helix brush is what it says. So with all those different length of fibers, it should make it look a little more wispy. Suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers. I love the packaging, by the way. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. So this one's a natural bristle wand. Yeah, it's not a uh, plastic. Okay, so that is the first layer. Look how beautiful that looks. I think it looks very wispy. It really elongated the lashes and it's definitely lightweight, like it says. Almost like a moussey consistency, which I like. Um, so I'm gonna wait till that dries a little bit and then we'll go in with the second coat. Meanwhile, let's go in with the lips. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with this. I already have it in my stash. This is the NYX shade 810. And oh, I don't even have the shade name on here because I've already used it up a lot. I'll try to figure out what, you see it's 810 SPL. I'll try to figure out what name, starts with an N I think. And then for the lips, I picked up these two from Went Wild. I don't know how new these are, but this is the Soft Blur Velvet Lipstick. So I got two of them, Apricot Smoothie and the other one is Nude For Love. I think we're gonna go in with the Nude For Love but there are the two shades, Apricot and then the Nude for Love. The lip glosses to top that off, I got these. So these are new to me too. I don't know how new these are to the line. These are the Maybelline Lifter glosses, but they're Lifter Plump is what they call it. I got the shade 002 Mauve Bite and 003 Pink Sting. Mauve Bite and Pink Sting. I think we're going to go in with pink sting. That's a pretty color. Nude for love. So, so pretty. Okay, now the gloss. There's that one here. Let me give you a swatch of the nude for love one too. That is so beautiful. I could feel the little like spicy little sensation. It's not overpowering at all. Not sticky. Okay, now I taste it more. I taste the like hot sensation on my lips now. It, but still, it's not too overpowering like the Too Faced lip injections or whatever like that. Okay, second coat on the mascara. Okay, so there's a second coat, so, so pretty. This is a beautiful mascara, very weightless, and it keeps, it's not even waterproof. I think they have a waterproof one, but 
This is so beautiful. We're still going to go in, though, with these. Ooh, almost fell. So we're still going to go in with these as well. So let me wait till this completely dries and we'll put these on. So again, this is in Classy Natural. They had different um, shapes, lengths, all that stuff. So you get two lengths, so medium and long length. We're going to go in with this and put them on. Oh, meanwhile, also too, let's go ahead and put the setting spray. So this is from the Creme Shop. This is a uh, Creme Shop and My Melody Setting and Priming Spray. This is Mattifying Perfecting Spray. Oil Absorbing um, Brightening Strawberry. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like that a lot. And then the packaging. Oh my gosh. They even have Hello Kitty as well. So these two are together are at the drugstore. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, it says to go from the bottom of the lash. Because the glue is going to be on the top portion. So this one's the medium one. That's pretty, right? Just on the outer edge. That's really, really pretty. Okay, so let's do the same on this side. All right, so that is pretty. I really, really like that. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm I'm excited because those were so easy to put on. So easy. All right, so let me go ahead and do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. I love the lashes. I love these so much. They're so easy to put on. Yeah, I wonder if these you can use them over and over. Yeah, all it says is no glue needed. It, it doesn't say you can reuse them. Maybe you can. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love those lashes. They're just so easy to put on. So for beginners who struggle with like the glue application and then adding the band lash, you know what I mean? I think that'll be really good for y'all. Um, everything that I tried, I really, really enjoyed. Yeah, so starting with the primer, the primer products are really, really good. Uh, this Neutrogena for mature skin is excellent. I love how you can still see a little bit of my um, freckles through the foundation, you know what I mean? It's so, so lightweight. I love the fact that it's kind of moussey, you know, so it feels lightweight initially. Um, and throughout the day, I'm sure it's going to wear so beautifully. I love the CoverGirl Clean Translucent Setting Powder, which is which I have it in here, but um, that's beautiful. Yeah, this is surprisingly... I was skeptical on this, but I love the way it's um, it uh, dispersed. This kind of would, I guess, remind me of the Rare Beauty because I've tried the Rare Beauty from a friend of mine. I don't own any Rare Beauty products. But um, this was close to it when that I can remember. You know what I mean? So I love this Diamond Filler Lip and Cheek Duo. Very pretty. This Physician's Formula. Yeah, Physician's Formula. Did I kind of like say that weird? Physician's Formula products are so good these days. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. This mascara is beautiful. It's so lightweight as the claims are. Um, I love that it's a natural bristle wand, you know, and I love that it has like different layers of fibers within it. So that way it makes it look more natural looking. It's not clumpy at all, even on the second coat that I tried. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, this highlighter is so 
beautiful. Yeah, I, I think with this, you can go real subtle depending on if you want to use like a fan brush versus like your finger, you can make it look like real blinding, you know what I mean? So I think this one, you can layer it in different ways. Uh, so therefore, this product is multifunctional in a way, in my opinion. So yeah, this one was in the shade Dare to Divulge. Beautiful. What else? What else? Remember... You can always use two shades darker of a like a regular face powder to use as a bronzer, which is what I did. And then you can go in with like a more precise brush just to deepen the color. You know what I mean? Like you can you can do so many different kinds of things with makeup, which is that's what makes makeup fun, in my opinion. Um, OK, so this blush is also pretty again in the shade 10 Befitting by Essence. Uh, yeah, this one was really nice too. It, it it wasn't a full coverage product, this e.l.f. one, but um, with the finger, it definitely blended in nicely. You know what I mean? And to me, this is buildable. Yeah, this e.l.f. brow pencil is really nice. It's it's kind. It has a little bit of a waxy formula, which I like more of the drier formulas. So this to me, I would rate like a like a seven out of ten you know, in my opinion. I love this. However, I need to buy a new one. The lippy products. Yes. So these are so, so pretty, you guys. I love these uh, together. They they look so pretty together. It's Maybelline Eye Studio. Yeah. So I checked. They still sell these various different colors. Um, Even like in the new packaging, I think it's the same formula. Amazing. Um, Again, this one is in the shade Give Me Gold 05. I just, I love the way you can come out with an easy look and it looks high quality makeup. Well, the drugstore is great quality. I'm not saying it's not. Um, and then last but not least is this the Creme Shop in My Melody Setting Spray. It's so nice. It's just, it made it look very, not very dewy. I, I don't want to say very dewy. It made it look like natural satin kind of, it's a natural satin kind of finish look. So if you're wanting that, I think this is really pretty. I don't know. These days I'm looking for more natural weightless formula products. And I think I definitely got that with all these products. Uh, great. I guess if I would have to rate my top products, it would be um, everything was so good. But okay, so I think these were the shining products. Um, but again, these are beautiful. These are definitely worth picking up. The primer. Ah, everything is so good. Just everything. Oh, yeah. And also, too, you guys, remember, from the Dollar Tree, this translucent powder, it's really nice. Like you can use it throughout the day for mattifying your skin. If Let's say you get oily throughout the day in your T-zone. So pretty. It's nice for under eye. It doesn't cake up at all whatsoever. It's really fine. For $1.25, you can't beat it. What else? Uh, yeah, so if you want a full coverage concealer, this is excellent as well. I'm running out of this one or running low on this one. So I got to pick up a new one of that. Uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. That's it. That's it for everything. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of the look. Let me know what your opinion of the products are based on what I showed you. Uh, I would love to know. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.